How did the Seneca Falls Convention contribute to the women's suffrage movement? The Seneca Falls Convention, held in Seneca Falls, New York, in July 1848, was a pivotal event in the history of the women's suffrage movement in the United States. It was the first women's rights convention in the country and played a significant role in advocating for women's rights and equality. Here is a detailed history of the Seneca Falls Convention and its major events. 1. Pre-convention context in the 19th century, women in the United States were denied many basic rights, including the right to vote. Activists like Lucretia Mott, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and others were inspired by the abolitionist movement and sought to address women's rights as well. Stanton and Mott met in 1840 at the World Anti-Slavery Convention in London, where they were excluded from participating due to their gender. This experience motivated them to organize for women's rights in the U. 2. Convention Organization Stanton and Mott, along with other activists, including Martha Wright and Mary Ann McClintock, planned the convention. They drafted a Declaration of Sentiments, modeled after the U.S. Declaration of Independence, which outlined the grievances and demands for women's equality. The convention was publicized through newspapers and word of mouth, aiming to gather support and participation. 3. Convention Proceedings, July 19 to 20, 1848 The convention took place at the Wesleyan Chapel in Seneca Falls, with around 300 attendees, including both men and women. Stanton opened the convention with a powerful speech, highlighting the need for women's rights and suffrage. Discussions centered on various issues like education, property rights, marriage laws, and suffrage. The attendees debated and eventually adopted the Declaration of Sentiments, which included the demand for women's suffrage. 4. Ratification of the Declaration the Declaration of Sentiments was signed by 68 women and 32 men at the convention. The document called for women's suffrage, among other rights, and marked a significant milestone in the fight for gender equality. 5. Aftermath and Impact The Seneca Falls Convention sparked widespread attention and debate across the country. It provided a catalyst for the women's suffrage movement and the formation of women's rights organizations. Stanton and Mott, along with other activists, continued to organize and advocate for women's rights through lectures, writing, and lobbying. The convention set the stage for future women's rights conventions and campaigns, ultimately leading to the eventual achievement of women's suffrage in the U. With the ratification of the 19th Amendment in 1920, the Seneca Falls Convention was a critical starting point for the women's suffrage movement in the United States. It served as a platform for women to voice their demands for equality and laid the foundation for future activism and progress in women's rights. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.